Hi, I'm Adriana from Toy Room Adventures. George is right there, which is he's so cute. But um, today I am doing a review on two fidget spinners. One is from Showcase, and what is and I always forget the name, Scholar's Choice. I'm going to start with the Showcase one. This one, uh, I have the receipt here to tell you how much it costs. This one with taxes is $33.89, which is a pretty good price, I guess, for a fidget spinner. It's a little on the pricey side compared to this one, which is the same thing, just it doesn't come in like a case like this with foam, but, um, what you're gonna do, right? Uh, I saw really cool fidget spinners on, like, Amazon and eBay and stuff, and I really want to start a collection, and they just look really cool. I've seen some, like, really, like, I've seen, I've seen really, really cool ones that, some are, like, ninja stars, and I really want, like, those ones. Some are, like, too silvery pink but yeah we're just gonna open this up so this is what it looks like so you can tell there's like foam pieces uh these are separate here's the fidget spinner and then the <laughs> and then the squishy foam and i'm just gonna put it back so i like it like that so here's the fidget spinner <laughs> and um it's really good. <laughs> it's like it spins very well. Like <laughs> so, this fidget spinner roughly spins for about two minutes and forty-one seconds. But obviously, it de depends on how hard you uh, spin it. But this spins for a <laughs> a pretty good time, which is nice. I really like it. I'm gonna put this back in the case and now we're gonna open. Okay, now we're gonna open the one from Scholar's Choice. And I have the receipt here. And we had to pre-order this because they were uh, completely sold out. And it was really good because like we only had to wait a day and then the shipment came in, which is really good. So I got this red one. Today. Uh, my favorite color is red. I really wanted to get red and blue. Long story short, uh, my friend was on FaceTime. Her name's Hannah, by the way. And um, basically, we're just like talking, and she shows me her fidget spinner, and I'm like, Where'd you get that from? That's so cool. I saw it on Instagram and YouTube and stuff, and I really wanted one. And then she was like, Oh, I got it from the showcase for $33 roughly and I was like oh my gosh I gotta get one so I went there and then the next day my friend says oh look Audrey I got a fidget spinner I got mine from Scholar's Choice for about $15 and I was like what so then I went there and picked up <laughs> and picked up another one but they didn't really have um blue or red at showcase so they didn't they only had white, green, and yellow, I think, and black. Yeah, black. Um, and then here they have like a whole bunch of colors. But so now I'm gonna tell you how much this one cost. So this one was it was roughly sixteen ninety four in the total, which is a lot cheaper than that one, which is good. But how do you open this? So I got some scissors because the few because this is like really hard to open. And also my camera's almost dead. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. Okay. Got it. Yay. Mm-hmm. This one is way better. This one is way better. <laughs> I'm sorry. The one. This one spins really, really smoothly compared to the other one. Like, I'll get the other one out. Like, this one isn't as smooth. 
as smooth as this one. I am right handed, so. This one is like really, they both smell like freshness. <laughs> it smells really good anyways. So overall, I think that these fidget spinners are pretty good. I mean, if I had to choose between them for price, I'd definitely go with this one just because the big difference is one comes in like a tin and the other one is just in like normal packaging. I can understand why someone would pay almost double for one at Showcase because if you're like a collector and you want like everything to be like no defects, no scratches, and it needs to be like perfect. It can't be like on the desk or something. It has to be like in a case. Then I guess I would recommend this one. So that brings us to the end of this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Till then, bye! It makes like a really sort of cool noise. Like I'll come up to the camera so you can hear it.